Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the Netflix series Unorthodox, which I recently finished watching. So it's a brilliant series. It's about an ultra-Orthodox Jewish woman named Esti who escapes her unhappy life and moves to Berlin. The producers spent millions of dollars to portray a really accurate depiction of the super conservative Hasidic life in Brooklyn. They had experts and consultants, and you know what? I'm just gonna say it. They should have used me as a consultant for the accuracy of Berlin. Now, spoiler warnings if you don't wanna know anything about the series, cause we're gonna get into it. First of all, when she arrives to Berlin, the first guy she meets is like this super hot German guy who plays in a symphony. So he introduces her to all of his friends, and all of his friends are also these like gorgeous, young, racially diverse people who play in this symphony. And they're all like ridiculously hot. And I'm not saying that classical musicians can't be very attractive, but like they might have wanted to use a couple character actors. Like, these kids look like they should be on the cover of Teen Vogue, not playing the cello. So they get into the car to, like, go to the lake, and it's, like, sunny and happy, and it's, like, a beautiful day, and they're all excited to go to the lake. And right away, they're like, oh, look, it's the Holocaust Memorial. That's where all the Jews were killed. And they start casually joking about the Holocaust and Nazis. And I get the fact that they're trying to show Esty in this new situation and like being confronted by all her fears. But here's the thing, no one talks about the Holocaust in Berlin. First of all, it's a really socially inappropriate thing to mention, especially flippantly or casually. And secondly, it's not on our minds at all. And also, it's just a real buzzkill. I don't even know Israeli people who would bring up the Holocaust in polite conversation. Usually the Israelis here are just like sexy DJs and hot gay guys and social activists and they just eat hummus and make challah bread and they're like so hot and cool and sexy. Like sometimes Israeli comedians come here and they do their whole set about the Holocaust and no one is laughing. Like it's not fun for anyone. We're like, yeah, we get it. The Germans used to be Nazis. Guess what? They know and they feel bad about it. Just stop it. So they get to the lake and the hot German guy is taking off his shirt and just as he's about to go into the water, he says to Esty, Oh, do you see this cabin on the other side of the lake? This is where Hitler and the Nazis decided to exterminate the Jews. Now keep in mind at this point, he knows that she's Jewish and he knows that her family was massacred during the Holocaust and he says that? I am sorry, a German person would never say that to a Jewish person, ever. Not in a million years. Especially not so casually as he's like happily going into the lake. Like, oh, but it is fine. The lake is beautiful. The water is so fresh. Come, come. So the series goes on and for the most part they capture Berlin very well. But in this little classical music group, like these people are way too happy and welcoming and friendly for Berliners. None of them are alcoholics, none of them have a drug problem, none of them have a sex addiction. By episode three, I was like, okay, is someone gonna ask Esty if she wants to go to the Kit Kat Club? Like, shouldn't you be peer pressuring her into a gangbang by now? But the most unrealistic part is that the hot German guy who's like the first person she meets is like the most wonderful, kind, patient, lovely man, and he's so kind and respectful to her and such a tender lover. Um, no, that is not Berlin men, especially straight German Berlin men, okay? They are a fucking nightmare for women to deal with. So Esty goes with him to a nightclub and they hook up and it's like really romantic and sweet. First of all, this guy is super hot. Like he would not be settling for Esty. I'm sorry, Esty's a lovely person, but he is way above her league, okay? Berlin guys are superficial. 
Secondly, even if he was into her, he would he would be so much kinkier. Like he'd probably like invite her to have a three-way with him and one of his friends, or they'd drop G and he'd fuck her in the bathroom and then just not speak to her afterwards. Or he'd fuck her just to brag to everyone, oh, I finally fucked a Jew. <laughs> and then he'd never speak to her again. Or he'd already have a girlfriend and not tell her about it because they're in an open relationship. Or he'd have sex with her and then get all weird about it and afraid of commitment. Just so you know, I am not interested in a relationship right now, but this was fun. That's a real Berlin guy, okay? Unorthodox. If you wanted realism, honey, you should have called me. But my favorite part of Unorthodox and the actor who gives the best performance is Jeff Vilbush. He plays the villain in the show and he is such a good actor and so cool and so cute. And he has an amazing story. He was actually raised in an ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jewish community in Israel and he left. He just escaped to live his own life because he's so brave and cool and awesome. You know that Jeff Vilbush is always like, tell it to the Vive. So I am just putting it out to the internet because Jeff Vilbush lives in Berlin. So one of my fans must know him. I'm telling you, I want to be friends with Jeff Vilbush. I think we'd really get along and he would love my comedy. I'd be all like, oh, Jeff, you're so great. And he'd be all like, oh, Daniel, you're great, too. And we'd have long talks about culture and acting and comedy and travel. So if anyone knows Jeff Vilbush, just someone please send him my comedy. See if he thinks I'm funny. See if he thinks I'm cool enough. Like maybe he wants to be my friend. Who knows? Maybe he already knows my comedy, okay? I'm a little famous. I'm kind of famous. Maybe this is going to be his chance to be like, whoa, Dan and Ryan Spaulding thinks I'm cool. He's like my hero. I've always wanted to meet him. That's right, Jeff. Yeah, you should be so lucky. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Classic Jeff Vilbush.